Hey, Rob here for Quadratech at the SEMA show. Day two of 2022, kicking it off here in the Truck Hero booth. A ton of great brands under the Truck Hero umbrella. Of course, Rugged Ridge, Lund, Bushwhacker are all names that we know. There's also a new one, Havoc Off-Road, but that's for their lineup of Bronco stuff. We're gonna stay focused on the Wrangler right here behind me with their new lineup of aluminum skid plates under the Jeep. Now these skids are pretty cool because they have a replaceable wearable poly panel that bolts to the skids. So as they get gouged up, you can simply replace them keeping your skids functioning, protecting the components under your Jeep, like your engine, transmission, transfer case, and even all the way back to the exhaust and your fuel tank. They also have some new Gladiator stuff. And one of the things that first caught my eye here on the Gladiator is the brand new Metal Max Flares, a steel flat fender here with an integrated white daytime running light that's also an amber sequential turn light. They also have these amber sequential lights up here on the Light Shield Pro hood visor. And I also noticed some new locking hood latches. Now, if we work our way down the back of the Gladiator, all the way back here, we've got some vent visors. We've got a new soft top up there. But around the back here, what really caught my eye are these new flush tail lights here. A really sleek and clean look. Also, this great dual swing out rear bumper. This is a modular style bumper. So if you just want the bumper, you can do that. If you want to add on each of the swing outs or maybe just one or the other, you can do that. And then as you can see, they feature a lot of accessory mounting capability. So you can mount your recovery boards on here, add a spare tire mount. There's some locking positions when you swing these out of the way. They've also got this great hitch skid plate down below. A lot of new, really great stuff here in the Truck Hero booth from Rugged Ridge. Right here behind me is ARB. Why don't we head there next? So here in the ARB booth, they've got a couple new items that really caught my eye, for lack of a better term. These are their brand new Intensity IQ driving lights. Now these things are fully customizable and pretty unique looking to boot. There's actually a spot super spot, super flood, and a mid-range light. And you can customize any combination of those lights for your driving style. You can even go as far as picking and choosing what individual LED optic you wanna turn on, and they can do all that with their app right through your iPhone or your iPad. They've also got this unique button on here that allows you to save some presets as well as cycle through all the different options. I'm not gonna do that right now, but I do have some really great B-roll that we can lay on top right now to show you because these things are bright. You definitely do not wanna look into them when they're turned on. They do feature six dimmable settings and I think what I'm showing you here is on the second level. So you can only imagine how bright these lights really are. And they've got this great swept back low profile design similar to the intensity Solus that we've seen before with this really kind of low center of gravity and this nice heavy duty base to mount this light. Now, speaking of base, let's swing around the corner and check out some of their base rack accessories. So here is ARB's base rack with a ton of different accessories mounted to it. One of the things I really love about the base rack system is that it is a fully welded one piece rack giving you a very strong platform to bring along virtually anything you need to carry on your Jeep or maybe even your Bronco because I see a whole line of new Bronco products over here from ARB. They also have their new Esperance hard shell rooftop tent mounted over there on a Tacoma that caught my eye. Now, speaking of some accessories for the base rack, I love that they're using this dovetail design here. It makes it super easy to quickly attach different tie down points, points for your recovery boards, a fuel tank, jerry cans, and they've got these great ratchet straps as well that quickly attach to carry a variety of randomly shaped options. They've even got some light mounting options. And speaking of lights, you see they've got this great roof rack wiring kit. You can pre-wire the base rack with a weather tight wiring connection through the roof of your vehicle so you don't have to worry about any leaks. Now, speaking of the base rack and ARB, if you guys haven't already checked out my current build series that I'm working on, you're definitely gonna to wanna to go back and look at that. I've been building up a JL with a host of products from ARB, everything including an Old Man Emu suspension, front and rear bumpers, and yes, I have a full step-by-step -step video installing a base rack system coming very soon, so make sure you guys hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on that for now. 
we're going to go ahead and continue making our way through the show. So here in the Go Rhino booth, storage and organization is the name of the game. Go Rhino has a ton of brand new products for us to check out. Right here, I love the look and feel of these awesome tool rolls that they have. Multiple different sizes designed for different tools. Very heavy duty, high quality material here with these rip stop sections as well. And then in addition to the tool rolls right behind me here, tool and recovery bags. Again, look at the variety here from Go Rhino. Different size bags to bring along those tool rolls, larger items, recovery gear. Again, large pockets, great material in here, rip stop bottoms, waxed canvas exteriors, lots of storage options. They also have some hard sided storage options over here. So here we have the X-Venture hard side cases. Again, you can see a variety of different storage options from small to large to really extra large cases on the other side to handle everything from your small goods, your recovery goods, maybe even some rifles if you want. And the mounting options for these things are endless. They've even got some of these mounting straps here that are perfect for mounting them on the side of maybe a bed rack on the back of your Gladiator. And one of the other things I really like about this here, all of them, made in the USA, made in North America. You can see a lot of this great stuff here from Go Rhino. In addition to these hard side cases, check this out, a full lineup of recovery gear from Go Rhino now. Everything here from D-rings, D-ring hooks, fair leads, pulleys, these nesting shovels, which are pretty cool here if we pop these off. We just have three shovels in one there for you with aluminum handles and stainless steel heads on them, a different shovel for every type of terrain you may run into. And finally here, one other really cool thing from Go Rhino, the El Gato hydraulic jack. Features dual locks on there so that you can adjust the height to start. We've got this removable adapter here on the foot and actually the whole foot of the jack can be pulled out and they've even got more accessories for this. We've got a tire lift that can be accommodated on here. They're really giving you a bunch of different options for using the El Gato anywhere around your vehicle. They even have an extension so if you need to reach farther under a bumper, maybe a slider and I love this. Again, another mount so you can conveniently carry this wherever you need to take it. Ton of great stuff here from Go Rhino. Not surprised, they always deliver really great stuff for us here at the SEMA show, but there's still more to see. All right, here at Dio Dynamics, checking out a range of new products from these guys this year. One of the first things that caught my eye right when I entered the booth was the Stage Series Rock Light setup. These are a high power 10 watt rock light with interchangeable lenses that we're used to seeing from other the Sage Series lights. I really like to see that. So you can run the clear on there, you can run red, amber, blue, they've got some options for you, or they've got the RGB option so that you can kind of change it on the fly as you go to either customize, match, or accent your Jeep. And it's actually a three wire hookup, so you can run them in a low power mode or maybe a high power mode, or maybe get creative and, and wire them up as maybe a trail light or brake light even. One of the other things that I notice here is their new hitch light. Check it out, it's a little C1 light with an adapter on there that slides right into a two inch receiver, comes with a T-harness, plugs right into your trailer hitch wiring, gets you running light, reverse light, or an option with a running reverse and a high power strobing third brake light back there to help let drivers behind you know when you are slowing down. Awesome feature and super quick and easy install, I love that. But one of the biggest things I wanted to showcase here this right here, a brand new headlight from the guys at Diode Dynamics, a full, true nine inch JLJT specific headlight. Nothing that's been adapted here. This thing has been designed, engineered, and assembled right here in the USA, specifically with the Wrangler Mine. And you can tell this thing is really high quality. There's actually two versions of this as well. We've got the Elite Series and the Elite Series Max. The Max is what's up here on the wall. And what you get with the Max is these extra vertical running lights, DRL lights in there. But this thing has a ton of functionality built into it. Right now, it's actually on just a standard running mode. You can then increase the brightness of that light to your daytime running light. You can switch that over to an amber daytime running light if you like. You also have the ability of putting this thing into an off-road mode 
with the Max headlight, giving you high-powered optics there that are different from your standard high beam light for when you're specifically off-road and maybe don't want to blind your buddy who's in front of you with your high beams. Overall, a really super nice here light here from Diodynamics. Excited to see this thing hit the market. Let's keep walking through the show. All right, for my final stop today, it had to be right here at the Best Stop booth. It would just wouldn't be a SEMA show without swinging by to check out some new products from Best Top. And of course, that means more than just soft tops. One of the first things that caught my eye on this LJ was right up here on top of the windshield, the Baja Designs XL Linkable Light Bar. I love the look of those oversized lights linked together instead of the more traditional slimmer light bar look. Now, that's not the only thing I wanna show you on this TJ Unlimited, this LJ here. You guys out there, I know that you've been waiting for this for a long time. A Trek top now available in premium black twill material. Of course, that ultra premium material not only feels great to the touch, but gives you that really deep, rich black color to the soft top. It's also really easy to take care of, clean and maintain. An awesome option for you LJ owners out there. And there's one other thing from Best Top that I may have had some inside info on before I even came by the booth. Now you can get a best top replacement soft top that is Jeep licensed. Now we all know that best top logo on the back of the soft top that's usually there. Well, now you can get it with a Jeep logo in that place only from best top and only from us at Quadratech. Let me know down in the comment section below what your favorite products that I showed off today were. I'd love to hear back from you guys. And then of course, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I still have plenty more to come right here from the 2022 SEMA show. Follow us along over at Facebook, Instagram, and of course, the torque blog at quadratech.com. Till next time, I'm Rob. I'll see you guys out on the trail or right here on the show floor.